Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and we're back for another Ripperverse video here, talking about more news on the Ripperverse and all the haters that, of course, are on Twitter. And just a quick update on the campaign: we're currently sitting at 3.510 million with 24 days to go, 40,874 purchasers, and of course, comic cover C is still available for purchase. Please go ahead and back this book; it's going to be great. It's written by a great YouTuber. Eric July, Young Ripper 59, coming out with his own comic like he originally always wanted to do. And it's an independent comic book from a person who doesn't hate you, like Marvel and DC do, and all these other comic book companies. But as always, I'm going to pull this up here with this guy here, Dragon Age. This guy literally sits on Twitter all day, is like, one of the biggest reply guys for Eric, for Geeks and Gamers, for the fandom menace, as you will. And this guy is so retarded and such a loser that he always has to reply to literally everything going on with people he doesn't like. It's like, dude, you can literally be doing anything else, but this is how you choose to live your life because you're a fucking loser. You are literally a loser, dude. You can literally be doing anything else, but you decide to be doing this. You are a fucking loser. And you need to get out your mom's basement. I'm sorry. It has to be said. You are a fucking loser. Because this comment right here, this is basically about the commercial that I showed off last video. Where Eric was talking about competitors making commercials about other competitors. And talking about other competitors and doing content about other competitors. To which he responds with, That commercial is a goofy, lighthearted romp that still sells the product on its own merit. You're just a toxic man-child who hasn't talked about his actual comic in ages. He doesn't have to do that. And literally, he has a content series for this type of thing. But of course, you are one of these Twitter morons who doesn't really keep up with the content. You literally sit on Twitter and just hate on people's stuff. Because you are that much of a no-life fucking loser this is literally your life literally your life is to sit on twitter all fucking day and just talk shit about everyone on here doing their own thing making a living which is something clearly you're not doing to which eric responds with this old tweet from may 8th 2022 where he responded to someone saying you are a level below the sunken place if you're unironically anticipating for some shitty youtubers comic book you can hate marvel whatever you can't really see the rest of it because this is a screenshot and where eric responded we're going to make millions of dollars and there's nothing you can do about it which that same person said doubtful which basically shows that this guy is a complete moron complete troll complete loser who just who's just been shown that his tweet did not age well, considering that I showed you at the beginning of the video that this comic made over $3.4 million. So you know this guy literally just sits on Twitter like a total bitch and just complains about everything that has nothing to do with him. You are not a, you are not a good person. You are not a like mentally, you are a mentally challenged human being clearly clearly and of course there are people who got upset by eric saying this it's a new day let's see what the reply guys will get upset over to which there was a guy here scott flint but of course a steven universe avatar pronouns in bio the typical fucking loser on twitter with the anime avatar and pronouns in bio and salty people as reply guys is the biggest self own you can do it's like complaining you're getting caught committing bad things you deserve whatever grief and pain you get for making your transphobic comic company yeah how is he transphobic once first of all it's not a real word secondly he sells his book to literally everyone it doesn't matter what gender what race what sexuality you are he will sell you your comic book you absolute moron so unless you can prove your claims of this shut the fuck up <laughs> Because you're a fucking idiot. Showing who you really are. An ignorant piece of garbage. Literally making false claims about people. 
and not being able to prove your claims because I know for a fact people like you cannot prove claims that you make on the internet because you're that much of a bitch with your little bitch Steven Universe profile picture. Go somewhere with your life. Like I said. And of course we also have Mark Brooks who just like just the other day he was making he said that Eric's comic has vapid writing and and crappy art. It's like did you really write anything good? Does anybody really know who you are? I'm sure people do. Probably not a lot. Prove me wrong in the comments if you like. Anyone who's watching the video. I personally like liked Mark Brooks's art on the first issue of Berserker. I bought the book. I told him I bought the book. And I also liked his work on the Darth Vader comic written by Charles Soule. His cover, you know. I liked that. But other than that, I really haven't seen nothing from him lately. But we got a clip here for this for you guys which is basically showing what he said here right here said vapid writing uninspired art and has been creators that haven't improved their craft in over a decade what else do they have to sell their what else do they have to sell their books other than a made up culture where it doesn't actually exist it actually does exist it's just that people like you work in the fucking mainstream so you don't actually care about the actual culture war going on you just care about protecting your bullshit old guard and your bullshit Marvel and your bullshit DC that you don't actually see what's going on. Like that shitty ass She-Hulk show that's out right now where you got She-Hulk twerking with the the fucking disgusting looking bitch called Megan the Stallion. Like, seriously? That, that's what you have in Marvel now? Freaking shitty role model, shitty wannabe role models like Megan the Stallion with her dog shit music and her dog shit like videos that she makes with like Cardi B and shit? Like... Seriously, that's what that's what you that's what Marvel comes up with, twerking in a fucking She-Hulk show in a in a Marvel show. We don't give a fuck about these weird celebrities who want to be in this show, like Megan Thee Stallion. Obviously, she just took a paycheck, but why the fuck are we doing this in the show where you're like, oh, we want to objectify women? Then you do the exact same thing. Meanwhile, you got She-Hulk with a lock screen of Captain America's ass. Talking about oh look at look at how we we don't we, we objectify women but then you're doing the exact same thing to men like fuck off and you did the same thing to Chris Hemsworth in, in Thor Love and Thunder when he was completely nude like this just bullshit hypocrisy as always from this company at all times whereas Eric's lie has been transparent about his entire campaign from beginning to the end he will always be transparent because he has a direct line of sight with his customers and has a direct line of sight with his channel and he that's what he does he's always going to be transparent because he has the ability to do so he doesn't have to go through a different publishing company or through access media to get his messages out there about his comic book or talk about his comic book he can do it directly from his youtube channel directly to his audience through twitter through youtube etc etc and it's ridiculous how these comic pros are the most unprofessional people on the planet when it comes to selling entertainment and doing their work for the fans not for but for their peers instead cuz that's what they're good at making their work for their fan, for their peers and not for the actual fans thank you guys for so much for checking out this video hope you guys liked it please leave a like Comment below what you think about this. Subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Back ISOM number one. Follow me over on Twitch and Twitter if you want to keep up with me. And peace out.